as a network of organizations working on statelessness across Europe, one of our key functions at the European Network on Statelessness is to act as an interlocutor towards key institutions. That is why today we organized an event to launch our statelessness index in the Palais of the Council of Europe and to discuss together how we can better address statelessness. There is an urgent need for such action given that statelessness uh, is a legal an anomaly which affects over 500,000 men, women and children in Europe today. Stateless people are often subjected to discrimination and abuse of their human rights. They often don't enjoy many of the rights that uh, you and I take for granted, such as the, the right to access health care, to go to school, to go to work, uh, to register the birth of their child, uh, to marry, to legally exist. In addition, many stateless migrants find themselves stuck in lengthy detention or indefinite limbo simply because they have no country to which they can be returned. And the point is that all this could be solved. All European countries have, have legal obligations to protect stateless people and to prevent new cases of statelessness arising. But the problem is too often that they are not respecting these obligations in practice. And often this is due to a failure to identify stateless people. It is for this reason that we developed a new tool, uh, an online tool, the Statelessness Index, which we hope will help raise awareness about the issue, but also benchmark and monitor progress by, by states towards meeting their international obligations. The Statelessness Index is the first and only online comparative tool that allows instant um, assessment of how different European countries are protecting stateless people and preventing new cases of statelessness ar arising. The content of the Statelessness Index is collected from our network of legal experts in countries across Europe. This information is divided across five themes. Firstly, accession to international instruments. Secondly, stateless population data. Thirdly, stateless determination and status. Fourthly, detention. And fifthly, prevention and reduction of statelessness. Under each of these themes, we have developed sub-themes whereby detailed areas of national law policy and practice are benchmarked against international norms and good practices and then evaluated using a clear assessment key. In this way, visitors to the index website can either go to look at a particular country to see how it performs across all the five themes, or it can see how several countries perform against each other on an individual theme. In this way, we hope that the index is a tool for NGOs advocating for change, for governments introducing a law and policy reform, for academics researching the issue of statelessness, and of course, for stateless people themselves including so that they can better uphold their rights. We think it is vital uh, if Europe is to protect uh, its long-standing traditions of freedom, equality, democracy, rule of law, and enjoyment of human rights, it is vital that it identifies and addresses statelessness urgently.